Good morning, shipbreakers, and welcome to Got Space Game. I'm Dan, and this is your home for indie sci fi and simulation gaming here on YouTube. And today we're in our second shift, kind of. Well, the first one was just a quick training shift. Um, we're in our second shift on Hard Space Shipbreaker. Still release day. This screen shows which ships you have access to. Sure. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got, or start a fresh one. Go ahead and claim one, and we'll get to work. Cool. So, uh, all of the others are fairly... simple. Yeah, they look familiar, but this looks different and new, so let's try this one. Also, this colour scheme, I've never seen that stripe down there, so that's new as well. But it's a station hopper, so what we should be having in station hoppers, lots of seats, and maybe a few advertising screens, but there won't be that much at this early level. Um, what you've got down here is the various salvage goals. So you can see there's five separate salvage goals. If you can get all the way to goal number five, then that gives you uh, the, the most reward. Um, so if, if you abandon a ship sort of part way along the shift, um, then obviously you don't get up to the, the full salvage goals. And it is worth, it's worth going in usually to get that extra shift uh, to get up to the the highest tier goal. Okay, so I'm going to go for this ship. This looks fun and interesting and a bit new. Claim your new ship will clear the salvage bay. Well, yes, we expect that. all yours, Cutter. Your primary goal is to reach rank 3. Now try to remember, nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it using the whole buffalo. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that debt of yours. I'll be observing and giving you any help if you need it. Good luck, Cutter. We were out. Okay, so we've got our mackerel here. As at level zero, there shouldn't be anything even remotely dangerous. We should be able to get this done pretty quickly. Excepting for the fact that we don't have any tethers or anything. Oh, and there's actually no nacelles or anything. So maybe when you get the ship at a higher level, maybe you get those. I'm just gonna look for a door. I'm way in. Try the scanner, see if that helps reveal anything. There it is. Let's go. right to the front. No actual airlock, so we we'll just go ham with this colour. It's the back part of the ship, that's where the thrusters would be if there were any. Just gonna get all of the cut points as quickly as we can. Two in one with those. Let's see, I'll do that one there. Particularly wanna chop up the uh, the aluminium there. Uh, Having a hard time rolling. I know them. these ships look intimidating to scrap at first. But trust me, soon enough, you'll be stripping the huge gecko class raiders like nothing. Got my star. 
salvaging back down Earth side. And the droid scrapping this. <laughs> you know what made me come up here? <laughs> One day, we got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They're always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of them. Mothballed for, oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI ban took effect, probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things looked exactly like my stepbrother Jed. He even had the same slack-jawed expression. <laughs> now, Jed and I wasn't exactly pals or nothing, but all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Lynx. I'll tell you what, it's a sight better to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. <laughs> anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Call if there's anything giving you grief up there, Cutter. We were out. So, early game like this. Really your... Applying credit to your account. Your push function is exactly what you need to use. Once you've got tethers, uh, you'll have a much easier time of it. Things like this can't do anything with at the moment, but you will be able to collect them Salvage by hand. Cool. And, uh, I won't tell you what that's for. You'll be able to collect them by hand, and hopefully there's some interesting storyline to go with them. We will see. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're not on a clock. Well, let's do it as if we were on a clock, eh? So I'm using the brakes quite a lot here. I brake while I cut. Because if you don't, you see what happens. The cutter I'm kind of pushy. close to what you're cutting. So I always just break while I'm cutting. Now all this stuff goes in the processor. Grapple. That one's easiest to get to. Start pushing. Get it roughly in there, let the uh, slope of the corners do the rest. Keep your eye out, because some of them are for the burnout. Even though that one's got a little bit less of the processor, we don't worry about that. You expect a certain amount of wasting, you can see it at the top there. As long as that red line at the top right does Go path line number five there. Then you're okay. If it goes past it, then you've wasted too much. song in the soundtrack there always reminds me of the uh, the ending bit of Cats in the Cradle Cats in the Cradle with the silver spoon then grow up with the man in the moon but that line I grew up just like you I'm sure it's the same melody of the one Valuable object process. Credits awarded. 
nonetheless, I do really love the music in this game. It's the best. Probably some of the best video game music I've ever heard. This is pretty much all for the processor. I'm whacking in the large piece there. Now, generally speaking, stuff that goes into the barge down there, not down down yet, will be as we go down the tutorial. The stuff for there is generally the most expensive. Further along your salvage goals, then it's stuff for the processor, and then finally stuff for the furnace. All the stuff for the furnace. Hopefully, it'll get us up to goal number five, but I think we'll probably just cut it. Yeah, cut it a bit more to do. Uh, Here's a tip. So you can see here, the little solid bit of line there is like where the cutter is actually aiming at, but the dotted line is where it's going to come. Now, if you see that the dotted line finishes there, then that's the intersection of two materials. It's not going to cut through the other material, it actually comes behind it. So. If you're at an intersection of materials like that and you want to cut both, the trick is to point the cutter right in the middle of the intersection, like that. You see the dotted line extends all the way. Cut there, done the whole thing. Get all done like that. That's released that entire section there. Trying to get that bit out. Furnace. Material accepted. Credit transfer. I'll show you that again, so you can see that. Gonna cut it as just one piece, there along the side, get in the middle of that crossbar, and you can cut both sides at once. You should be able to. Ah, and that finished there because that's actually two pieces. So it's the number of pieces that's the, uh, the critical factor there. anyway. There we go. Material deposited. Oh, the door is for the processor. Let's get that. Now we've got this whole big thing going into the processor. We want to get that to the burner. And you can see we've still got that back end of the ship. Make it in, so we'll give that a final push. Taking care of using the brakes. Because again, as you get too close, they'll pull you in, both the furnace and the processor. And that'll add to your depth. You don't want that. And that's it, I think the whole bay is clear. That should just get us above goal number five. And turn on the scanner just to see if there's anything left. In the salvage bay it can show it up a bit more easily. That's the last bit. And we're done with the shift. So I'm not sure how long that took. We'll see the timings. I put this up on YouTube, but hopefully it was under 15 minutes. And if it's under 15 minutes, then you did it in a single shift. That should 
should always be your aim. Back to the hab. So, let's see how we did. So we can see we're doing well, we got ourselves above that number 5. So all these, uh, all these rewards add up, so the mastery points, that leads you towards your next certification. And Lynx tokens, that buys you different equipment upgrades essentially. Uh, so this is what we destroyed, so we destroyed some glass. That will have uh, gone into the processor when it wanted to go into the furnace. Uh, a few small titanium panels, those were attached to the floors, I think, those little walkways attached to the floors. Um, but nanocarbon got destroyed, not sure what that was about. Um, and some aluminium structures, likewise, those would have been attached to the floors, or the walls, etc. Uh, so not too much destroyed, and you can see that that's the overall value of what got destroyed. And that's the value of what got processed. And then anything in the middle there got left behind in the bay. Um, so yeah, uh, a good shift I think. And this goes towards clearing your debt. But the thing is, clearing your debt, to be honest, early game doesn't really matter. You know, if you have to go out to do another shift, it costs you. You have to pay, you know, an extra... Uh, fee when you go out. I think in these early tutorials you don't, but as you play on you will. Um, and yeah, it can, you can, it can cost you money to go out and do a shift, but early game it is all about those links tokens and those mastery points, getting your uh, certific certification upgrades leveling up, and getting your equipment upgraded, because that's gonna then let you clear your debt. So that's kind of the order you want to consider it. Just ignore this. Ignore the money for the time being until you've got everything unlocked on your equipment. And I'll say that. Um, and so yeah, have a great evening. I hope you've had a fun shift. And uh, we're going to be going through the entire game. You know, we're, we're going to be playing this start to finish, full spoilers. Um, see how you like it. There's also going to be uh, a bunch of ship tutorials, some individual techniques. Um, you've seen all my videos hopefully from the uh, from the pre-release uh, and anything that's changed, uh, that's anything that's different. I'm going to re-record those videos. I'm going to do a comprehensive ship set of ship tutorials as well. Uh, so yeah, this has been Got Space Game. I've been Dan. Please like and subscribe and you'll find out, hit the notification bell as well and you'll find out when my next videos are coming out. Have a great evening.